In today's video, I'm going to tell you how we can send an email based on a due date in a SharePoint list. Okay, so I have a SharePoint list which, has a, uh, which is having a due date column uh, with task, uh, title, description and uh, assigned to and a priority column. So what I want is I want to send a consolidated email uh, to the team lead or to the manager uh, whose due date is today. So for this, we will create a flow and there can be multiple scenarios also like you want to send a reminder email uh, to the person whom the task is assigned so you can follow the same approach to do it as well so here i will have the sharepoint list i'll show you in the system completely uh, there will be a title column due date column assigned to column and a priority column so i will create a flow which will trigger every day uh, so i'll uh, uh, take the recurrence so that it will trigger every day and it will go to the list it will pull all the items from the sharepoint list having where the task due date is today and then finally it will send an email to the person uh, who will be responsible for managing the task maybe it's a team lead or a manager like this okay and if you are new to the channel i am vijay i am a microsoft mvp in sharepoint subscribe to the channel so that you will get notification whenever i'll make videos on this so now we will go to the system and i'll show you step by step how we can send a reminder email or a task due date email uh, uh, to the you know team lead or something uh, based on a sharepoint list right so uh, we will see here now how we can send email based on a sharepoint list date column and there are various scenarios that you can make out of it like you want to send reminder emails or you want to send emails based on a let's say due date column like this you can do so first thing what i'll do is let me just open the uh, you know sharepoint list which we are using here so uh, i'll just open the site you can see the, uh, this is the sharepoint list i'll work on this team task list um, on this, basically, if you'll see here, I have a title column, uh, due date column, assigned to column, and a priority column. So, four columns are there. I can do individually also. I can, if I want, uh, you know, I can send an email to the person on the due date. So, basically, here the due date column is which we are going to use on this. That means, uh, for this particular example, I will send a consolidated email, uh, let's say, to the team lead or some person who will be responsible for managing this task so what will happen is every day uh, they will receive an email so the team lead will receive an email like this so but uh, as i said right you can individually also uh, send to the email to the person so those things also you can able to do it on this so for this what i'll do here is first thing is i will uh, open make.powerautomate.com so uh, if you have not logged in, then uh, it will ask you to put your uh, credentials to log in and then uh, click on create. So once I click on create, I will uh, use this time scheduled cloud flow. Why this? Because I want this to be run every day and uh, every day it will go and check in the SharePoint list. What are the items basically uh, who, is, who are matching the condition? That means who are the which are the tasks? Where the due date is today uh, like this it will check. So I'll take this one. I'll give the name so I will say task a reminder let's say uh, or list something like okay uh, task reminders let's say we'll give like this and every day I want uh, because I want every day it should run and uh, this is the time that you can see here it will start from today like this and then I'll click on create so once you click on create uh, you can see here in the recurrence uh, every day and uh, you can choose the time zone uh, these things you can do i'll leave the default one here next what we will do is we will try to get all the items from this particular sharepoint list so for this i'll use the get items so i'll say get items uh, you can see here this is the um, you know flow action i'll use this i will select my site here respect guides and the list name is team task list so you can see here team task and uh, so this is basically uh, you know the list and the site name now what we want is click on show all and then you will be able to see the you know, filter query property so what we are going to do here is we want to get or uh, based on the task due date right so uh, month date and why 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 format and i have written this so you will see here task due date uh, so basically we are going to add a filter condition on this so and we'll compare with the utc now and then it will come in mmddyy so current date and time and then the, uh, we will just take the date part you can see here since it is coming the date part 
and uh, for that i will uh, you can just put it here so now it will only filter the items where uh, the date condition matches right so this is the filter i will put a uh, in a video and a article a link also where you can check you know various filter query things that you can use right so this way it will give us all the items which are satisfying on this and then i will next thing is i'll add a, a format so basically html table uh, uh maybe i'll say create html action i'll use this so you can see here create html table basically this we are using so that uh, uh, the list of tasks we can show in a pro format on that right so uh, that's what we are going to use it here so um from and then in this case body we will take so whatever the output will come from get items we'll use this so here i will say so all and then uh, the columns i'll take a co custom columns and uh, basically i will want to know what are the columns i'll add here so in this case if we'll say here task title maybe the due date assigned to and priority i'll take this way um like you know, whatever the columns you want you can add it so i'll say task title and then the value you will take it here so i will take uh, uh, the title here and then i'll say due date and then here i will take the task due date here uh, this one and then i'll say the assigned to and in this case i will take uh, the task assigned to i'll take the display name here and then uh, priority uh you can see here and i'll take the task priority here so uh i'll say so more and then you'll be able to see probably priority value this one i'll take okay so now uh if you'll see here now, now the html table will have these headings and the corresponding values so it will come from get items right so the next one i'll add is uh send an email so send email i'll use the send email notification i'll take this one and on this uh probably i will take for this particular example i will take uh i'll send email to this id my email id and i'll say task due for today uh probably i'll say an email like this and then like you know you can change anything uh you can take it so i'll say hi pj and here uh the task due uh for today and uh i will take uh, this so and uh, we will add the task here so i'll click on this and i will take uh, the output from the create html table right so this is what we will do it on this case now i'll click on save so carefully i'll just tell you one thing uh, like just to summarize so um this will trigger every day and then it will go to the get items and then uh, you know uh, it will get all the items from this let me just see what is this error uh so i don't see any as such any values on that i just removed it and add it again just typed it again and you can see here the flow got saved here i'll just save it again just to make sure that uh, you know it is saving correctly uh now you can see here the flow is saved so i'll go to my flows and on this uh, what i'll do here is we will now uh, run it so you can see here i'll click on the run button you can see here this is coming like this i'll click on run the flow make sure your connection should be valid and if the connection is not valid then it will might give you an error so you can see here it is succeeded now what i'll do now is i will go to my email so you can see here i came here uh you can see uh task due for today and you can see these are the tasks which are uh, you know assigned to this and uh, you, you can uh, format this html but if you see here now this is how you can get uh, you know all the tasks which are uh due date for today and this is how you can uh, you know send an email uh, based on a list date uh, in in a microsoft power automate flow and if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to the channel uh, where i make videos on power platform sharepoint spfx all these things and all these things you will get it free so thank you and have a nice day